15 years ago, the world witnessed the worst of human nature on a clear and crisp September morning. By the end of that day, we also saw the best of it, selfless sacrifice and true heroism. Our nation was united by public support. A decade and a half later, we remember the lives that were lost on September 11th in New York, Pennsylvania, and here at the Pentagon. I'm standing here today at the Pentagon Memorial in Arlington, Virginia. At each bench bears the names of one of the victims who was killed here. As we remember and reflect, we also call to mind the Nebraskans who died that fateful day. Julie Geis, Monty Ford, Jennifer Dorsey Howley, and Navy Captain Larry Getzrin, who was working here at the Pentagon on that September morning. We will never forget them, and our hearts are with their loved ones. We must also never forget that in answer to each evil came virtue, generosity, strength, and deep patriotism. Even in our darkest hours, the American people displayed unparalleled courage and resolve. On this day, we are also reminded of the important role STRATCOM played in the aftermath of the attack. STRATCOM was performing a practice exercise for a fictional threat when the attack occurred. In an instant, the men and women of STRATCOM found themselves at the center of a real-world emergency. With little notice, they performed admirably and secured the base to provide safe haven for President George W. Bush as he coordinated with U.S. security officials. Though the years have come and gone since 9-11, Recent events around the world remind us that threats remain, and so should our vigilance. Today we recognize our brave first responders and the members of our military who put their lives on the line each and every day to keep us safe. We also recognize that freedom is our most powerful weapon, and no one can ever take that from us. May God bless the victims and the families of this tragedy and may he continue to bless the United States of America.